it's one thing I want to pick out there, the mental aspect of it and the character, because this is something which Conte spoke about when he was Spurs manager, that maybe some of the characters are lacking within that Spurs dressing room. Now you've got Ange Postecoglou saying the exact opposite. Um, yeah, listen, uh, there's a difference though, you know, at the minute they're top of the table and, and things are flying high for them, so I don't think there's uh, there's much going wrong in 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 the change room or on the pitch. Um, so the manager's happy and saying the right things. It's a positive place in there. And us, you know, before the game, we said looking at the, 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 the team and looking at what's going on at the club, it looks like a positive place. But isn't it a reflection of how they've got to, to be top of the table? In the sense that today they had to hold on for, what, 45 minutes, mm. uh, 45 minutes plus injury time with 10 men. The fact that the Sheffield United game, they score so late, amongst other results so far this season? Um, yeah, I think so. But also, listen, there's, there's a part of that mentality in terms of uh, and, and, and what's happened on the pitch with a player getting sent off. You know, one of those for diving, you know. It, it's it's something that I think he will have to um, have, a, have a strong conversation uh, about. And, 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 and listen, I, I think they've got away with it lightly in terms of it, it's Luton and they did have a couple of chances. They didn't put them away. Another team, they'd have got punished severely and, and it could have cost the team you know three points and look, look, I know it's early but they're top of the table and if that happens in May you know, oh, you know, it's a long way off yeah, yeah yeah I know but you know each points count and, and, and that could have made a big difference today yeah no I think Andrew's really changed the dressing room around so probably got a lot of happy faces smiley faces which is it's half the battle if you've got a strong team with you and the gaffer it seems like he's, he's done that and put smiles on people's faces and they're performing for him. When I asked about Luton, I think it's only fair I asked about Spurs, where do you see them finishing this year without it being a disappointment? Because we're in October and they're top of the table. I don't think many pundits or fans had them in the top four this season. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I don't think so. But now, has that changed? Where do you put them? Bobby first. Um, I didn't. I did, certainly didn't. I think certainly after the last couple of seasons that they would be there, Harry Kane leaving. Um, but they're certainly surprised. A long way to go, like you say, but they're uh, a happy changing room and a good environment um, can get you points on the board as well. It really can, you know. It, I've been there in bad changing rooms, good changing rooms. When when teams like this or, or occasions happen where this, this, you're up against it, it can make a big, big difference. And they're in a good place. And looking at Liverpool, looking at Chelsea, those teams that you'd expect to be in and around there that probably are underperforming. Well, I, think, I mean, Liverpool just lost their first league game in 17 yeah, matches. Yeah, but I mean, I think that, that Spurs could be could be in one of those Champions League spots if they continue as they are. In fact, uh, fifth place might even get Champions League as well, possibly because of uh, the, the reformatting of the Champions League next year and how well the English teams do this year. What about yourself, Henry? Yeah, I, I, do you know what? I see Spurs being up there this year. Um, obviously, Harry Kane leaving was massive for them, but the goals are coming from elsewhere this year. And uh, they seem like a proper team now, not everything going through Kane, going out wide from Song. Madison's taken the ball by the horns and really stepped up, and he's feeding everyone else to get their chance to go and score goals. So I think they will be around it. They have players to bring back as well, you yeah. know, so they have, I would say, attacking wise, they're in their bare bones. Um, so, you know. Uh, if they're if they're in and around it as well, still in December, January, will Mr. Levy put his hand in his pocket and spend a bit of money as well to bring one or two faces? That would be an interesting time. That would be interesting to see what they do. Where would you like to see them strengthened? Me at the back. At the back. Yeah, still, I still think that's that's a a weaker place for them. You know, on that on that pitch. Who? Don't know about that part. Okay. I'll let them. I'm uh, sorry. I mean, which, which, who in the back line do you feel right now? You can't call out players. No. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Well, I don't know. Just, no, just I don't think for, for, for a few years. I just think that's been their in weak general. spot. In general. Yeah. In okay. general, I, I still. Yeah. For me. 